Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, we're going to ignore all these little things I have in my face because, like, seriously, they pop up, like, every hour. She's doing this to me. She is giving me all these pimples in my face, and I, I cannot keep up with it. Anyways, let's get into this. This is my 36-week update. Um, I don't have too much to share with you. I can't believe we're already at 36 weeks. I only have approximately four more weeks, hopefully a little less. Um, I don't want to go past four weeks, that's for sure. Uh, until when he gets here, which is crazy. So first I'm going to read to you what the Ovia app says about being 36 weeks pregnant. So it says at 36 weeks, Winnie is producing meconium, the tarry substance that will make up her first poop. And all of her organ systems are basically developed and operational, except for the digestive system. The digestive system still has some things to work on. Um, it says, but she won't start full digestion until she starts eating on the outside. Um, and that she's changing position and it may make it easier for me to breathe. Um, so right now it says that she's just trying to gain baby fat from here on out for the rest of the weeks. At this point, if Winnie is still in the breech position or any other awkward way of hanging out in your uterus, your healthcare provider may talk to you about ways to try to get her into a more convenient position. I, as far as I know, every time that I've gone to the doctor, she's been with her head straight down. So they haven't really discussed anything like this with me so um, I mean I think she's she's good to go so house mom says because when he's moving down to your pelvis as she gets ready to be born the pressure on your lungs is probably lightening up you'll probably in notice increased pelvic discomfort pressure on your bladder and insomnia and your heartburn and swollen feet are more likely than not still issues in fact your feet have if your feet have grown significantly during pregnancy they may stay around that size uh, and then it just talks about things, uh, some signs of preterm labor, such as diarrhea, increased contractions, um, your water might break any day now. Um, those are that's what the um, app says. And this week she is the size of a Chihuahua dog. So now, as far as how I match up to feeling the way the app says I should be feeling, the whole lung thing, like I have asthma, so they've been watching my asthma and like been asking me about it every appointment because it's supposedly pregnancy makes asthma worse but I haven't noticed too too much of like shortness of breath or anything I have not noticed the lightning I still feel the same way so I don't know if if this like if she never really was high up because I don't ever feel like she was very high up to begin with or if she just hasn't dropped down yet I don't know but I haven't really felt like it's been easier to breathe all of a sudden I haven't noticed increase. One, the biggest change that I've noticed, first of all, my, my belly's actually gotten quite bigger and, and I was like so worried because it really hasn't gotten bigger. It hadn't gotten bigger for a while, but now it's gotten a little bit bigger. I've gotten stretch marks, too many to count now, so that's sad. But I'm starting to get like back pain because, because like everything is just like, you know, pulling me forward. My back is having a hard time trying to handle it. And But the other big symptom is what I researched on the internet and it is called a lightning crotch, but it's just like um, every time I stand up now, like almost almost every single time, when I stand up, I get like this sharp shooting pain that feels like someone's stabbing a knife right in my cervix. That's what it feels like, and it hurts. And sometimes I'll be like just walking around the store, just walking in general. Like today, I was walking to my car from the office, and it's not even that far. And like I almost doubled over and cried because I got lightning crunch and I don't know what the heck that is I was getting it like one or two days before and I asked my doctor about it she said it was just the baby sitting on some ligaments but now it's happening every time I stand up so I don't know what that means but at this point I don't really care because I'm about to get checked for dilation on this Friday um, it'll be the first time they do that and so we'll see if that's maybe what the pain is and if not, then I'm going to ask them about it for sure. So, um, yeah, and oh, my feet have gotten huge. I've grown an inch. I was 5'5", five five, I am now 5'6", because I have so much swelling in my feet that it's lifted me up a, an inch, which is crazy. I was a size 9, 10 in shoes beforehand. Now I can only wear flip-flops because they're the only shoes that fit me. And I'm a size 11 because I had to buy some new ones because my other flip-flops were kind of getting too short. So, yeah, that's... That's been fun. I do have some ultrasound pictures here. 
we did have ultrasound like two weeks ago. Um, and it was one, I, I've had like so many ultrasounds, you know, because of those um, possible complications. But um, this one, we still did not get to see her freaking face because she again had her hands up in her face. She, it's been like that the past three times we've gone in. But we did get some interesting pictures here. Um, I'll show you this one first. This one is a picture of her face. I don't know if you can tell, but this is her arm. And then um, her, this is a picture of her, um, she's kind of going like this and you can see her nose and her lips. So there's her little nose right there. You can see the nostril. And then that's the top lip. This is the bottom lip. Look how pouty they are. I have no clue how she got pouty lips because both my husband and I have like thinner lips. So it's super cute though. Um, and then these pictures weren't very good. There's some feet picture. Here's a profile picture of her with her pouty lips again. So this is her head. Um, that's her nose. And then look at her lips. They're like this. She's like pouting them out. And then of course her two little fists because she's got her hands right in her face. Oh, here's another picture of her face. This one's kind of creepy. This is the best picture, though, that we've gotten of her face. Um, this is her whole head. You can see her eye and, and eyes back here in the dark. Nose, socket, and then her lips. And um, then there's her arms right there. So, pretty cute. I was pretty excited about that. Um, now, as far as things we've been doing to prepare, we haven't really been doing a lot. We did go and finally use all of our... Um, we used all of our gift cards that we got and we went and bought everything else that we needed to buy that we felt was necessary before she got here. There are some things that we decided we could wait until, you know, certain different times when we actually like needed them. So we uh, held off on those. But we did go and buy everything. It was pretty expensive. <laughs> um, and we set things up, like we put gates up for our dog and... Um, except for, I have been looking so hard to find like a newborn or like really smaller sized outfit for 4th of July because I know some places like Carter's they have like zero to three months outfits for the 4th of July. I'm not crazy about them and they seem kind of big anyways. And I've been looking, I know there's places like Etsy but they're kind of expensive and I really just wanted to go to a store and pick one up. I don't really want to order one online. So if you know of like a store, whether it be like, you know, a, like a specialty store like Carter's, you know, that specializes in baby stuff, or another store like Walmart, Kohl's, you know, somewhere else that sells baby clothes, and they have like a 4th of July outfits for smaller, like newborns, or like, you know, small zero to three month sizes, then please comment down below and let me know, because I really, really want to find something for her. She may or may not be born by the 4th. My due date's July 3rd, so let's hope she's born before the 4th. Um, but even if she's not, I still want to have it that I still want to have something because, I mean, it's red, white, and blue. I mean, come on. USA, the Olympics are this year. There's lots of reasons she could wear it after that. So um, now I'm going to show you my bump. I'm currently not wearing a bra, so I'm going to have to kind of cover things up. Uh, it's just really uncomfortable to wear a bra. I'm sure most of you guys know. Yeah, so I'll see you guys at 38 weeks. I really hope that I'll be close, to, be close to giving birth by then because I'm done with being pregnant. So here's the bump. I'm trying to cover up my, my no brownness up here. Um, and also my shirt's kind of short because nothing fits anymore. But here's the bump. You can tell she's shot like directly outwards now. I feel like um, I'm not really wide anymore. I'm more just like shooting out and look you can like see my this is the top of my leggings I got from destination maternity <laughs> so belly button still sticking out strong let's come out soon okay little one all right I will see you guys in my next video bye